we here? Are we live? Here we are. Oh, what? Seventeen. I think it's probably maybe it's just that. Looking beautiful. How does the stream look, guys? And gals. We're gonna do a lazy Susan. Can you guys hear us? sound um I don't have one on. You have just the regular feed on. You don't have the intro page. Oh, okay. I was just concerned that it was gritty. No, it's not. fine now. Can you hear you? We took the mic off of the uh, off the table and on a stand so it's not touching so if we're tapping won't go through there and sound annoying in the mixing and whatnot. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use Did the hexagon turn out beautifully with this? It might be just because of that, our thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still love the holy vagina. Still. That wall looks awesome. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So. No worries, Sue. I have Roz's six-year-old artist in training. Good point, Donnie. We'll definitely look into that. Thanks, Diane. Where'd you get the round board? This is actually a Lazy Susan. Got it from Ikea. From Ikea. Wait. Do you have normal lighting on? Oh, you do. Man, that's that. That's overhead. You're looking at that. I know. That's why I added it up like this. So you could see under it. Oh. Hi, Donna. I'm from South Yorkshire. We only taped the bottom. Yeah, I taped it and then cut it. So... Eva, just send me an email. We'll talk about it. My girlfriend is Susan, but she's not lazy. She's learning with me. David, my mom's name is Susan, and she is not a fan of the term lazy Susan at all either. Right now. 
around here somewhere. What's up, Terry? Right, they are only ten dollars. What? The lazy seasons. Yeah. What is your favorite food? Tacos. What's up, Clara? Lucy, I'm glad that you like that color. It is a very beautiful color. We didn't really prep it. We just sanded it a bit. It's, if you buy it's something It's going to be a negative. It's going to be a negative. If you buy something that's already prepped, like, to be sold commercially for food like this, it's already primed and prepped. You don't really have to do much to it. It already won't have the little holes that come through. How will you pour without dunes? It will. It'll be interesting. Hi, Rusty. Hi, Lori. They finally got more lazy seasons, and now everyone's gonna go buy all of them again. Probably. We um. remind me, I have a question about the shipping. What's up, Frick Dick? Uh, no, Rose Gold is not coming yet. Ever since... <laughs> okay, what was that? Ever since um, Sue's family health problem, she hasn't had a chance to send out orders, but her husband is taking care of the orders until... She gets back. Layers are fun. You could sing or beatbox for him. This I cannot, because he would just laugh. Well, it would be good for you. It would be good entertainment for you guys. Um, it is in the kitchen section. They did come from IKEA. You can use acrylic inks and resin. They are opaque. Don't use too much because it'll turn everything into marshmallow fluff. I'm out of bed because you guys push, inspire me to push through. I'm glad you're here, Buttercup Moo Cow. We did tape the bottom of this. What we did. Oh, I was trying to get all of this out. I don't have a button. I would be box for you, but I don't want to do that to people. They would love it. I feel like they would say, you should never do that again. They would. They would be like, oh my god, you have a second column. Hi, Robin. Because you're such a fan of my beatbox skills. I just think it would be amazing. Bottle up, heat it up, heat it up. You're trying to get two nine. Right, Trina, it is very easy to use. What's up, Andrea? Oh, marshmallow fluff happens if you, it usually, the most common way it happens to me is if I put too much paint in the resin and it makes a chemical reaction basically that if you've ever eaten marshmallow fluff, you know that thick, stringy texture Almost turns in like to melted mozzarella too. Yeah, it's unusable for the most. Four feet away, and I missed that. I would have nailed it. Yeah, you would. 
Hi, Ann. We missed you too. Tonight we are using white, royal purple, just resin, rose pink. pink. Yeah. And what's the other one? Gold. Gold. I'm going to do a negative. I'm going to put a little clear down and then I'm going to fill it in with some white. I'm not going to cover the whole thing and just kind of like make it very Oh, Debbie, I can switch it. Lighting is much better. can hardly hear you. Can you guys hear us okay? How was your mold? In the game, in the we got options. Just this one was the most appropriate. Or I guess maybe we could do this one. Multiple angles in your face. I can't see it though. They will. It's on a slight delay. Sound is good. Awesome. I can't awesome. see awesome. any of this. You're not doing anything on it yet. You're just mixing this in. Just resin, rose pink. Mm. He's I'm also not, using Artisu gold paste and. I'm not going to be using a lot of colors on this. It's going to be more like marbly. Royal purple powder by Artisu, which I will have more in before the end of the month, hopefully. Congrats on selling art, Steve. Unicorns and a pink flamingo. That's awesome. So. Thanks, Eva. I will check that probably in the morning. I've been so tired the last couple days. I think it's the heat. I don't do well in the heat, y'all. at all. So while he's doing that, I'm just going to show y'all how he taped the bottom of this. He just used regular masking tape to tape off the area and he left this little lip so that he knows where to pull it off and it'll pull off all of it because he overlapped it in such a special way and then cut off the excess on the sides because he doesn't want the sides to be taped off. He wants to have the overflow on the sides. He left it wood grain because he's going to do a negative space that shows the wood grain. Also, can I see a rag? There's some color on it. It's not on my hands. Any news on rose gold? Same question marks. That's from earlier. It's not moving. It's the heat. Okay, good. You're pregnant or tired. Y'all, just tired. Mom's gonna hop in here and get on to everybody. An IV vitamin infusion? I've heard of those. I, I need to. I need to do something. I think guzzling water like nobody's business as well. Wood grain with the love seats. It rained today and was only 18 degrees. It hasn't been anywhere near 18 degrees here in like two years, I think. Andrea in Dallas, they have like a mobile truck. They'll come to your house and give you a vitamin IV. I'm just not really good with IVs. I'm the nervous cystic person. I'm 
whenever you're doing a negative space, always wipe your hands so you know that. Should we lift that? Yeah. This up? I think so. I'll, I'll get it. You just tell me to stop. There. And, and now kind of let go because it'll move. You can pull it back to you a little bit. Feedback from the AC better today? Well, the AC's on, not on right now, so. It, well, I'm gonna really ask Dallas as soon as it comes back on then. I'd have one every. They're a little bit expensive, from what I remember, aren't they? What? The mobile IV people. Sixty dollars or ninety or, I guess it depends on what you want. Mom got her table today. She was so cute about it. Very excited. So, y'all, how is your week gone? So, in this piece, I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's leaving some spots blank of resin and filling those areas in with the white. Usually, we will completely cover um, whatever we're pouring on with our clear but we want the white to stick in certain areas. So we left that part raw, I guess would be a word. Yeah. So that it'll I want it to go stick over and it stretch and, and Yeah. I want this to be more They run a hundred for the good stuff. How long does that last in your system? Khaleesi, where are you moving to? Kelly, it's okay if you order the countertop resin instead of the art resin. Ultimately, they work very similarly. The main differences are that you have just a little bit more working time with the art resin, but you still have like probably 40 minutes. Good that looks. <laughs> in ideal um, weather conditions with the countertop resin and the countertop resin is slightly more durable than the art resin. Obviously, as a countertop, you need it to be a little bit more durable than if it's a painting, but it's still a great resin and it has is really good working time. And if you wanted to, you could stand on your painting and it won't do anything. Kelly, we are pouring on a Lazy Susan. However, I'm not saying that derogatorily not all Susans are lazy. I'm a much better photographer than resin artist. Won't have a few pieces ready by December 1st. You have plenty of time, David. I'm going to have to check out that video, Clara. That butterfly table is pretty flippin' amazing. I know you've been working on that for a long time. Yeah, 
happy hour. How are you feeling? What's up, William? It looks like caramelized cream swirl. Mm. You guys, we did a painting today that we we're going to post the time lapse of, and I say we, but I, I had no part in it. You, you did something? You, you were asleep, I think. I that. napped through it, but Jeff decided he was going to do a painting that we we're going to post the time lapse of, and it's probably one of my favorite pieces of all time. Just wait. In short, it says it has a better UV protection and longer work time. Sounds about right. I want to wear theirs now. I remember those. Is that a white or a light blue? It is titanium white. It is the white uh, base coat from Stone Coat. The Lazy Susan, I believe, is cedar wood. It's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in Belize today. It is 20 degrees cooler in Belize. And it's like almost, Belize is located basically on the sun, I feel like. Can't believe it's cooler in Belize than it is here. Um, we got these Lazy Susans for $10 from Ikea. Lucy, that resin is bananas. We love it. The gold is by Artisu. It is the paste. I have some Sour Patch Kids in my fridge right now. Judy! Air hugs. Air hugs. Oh, Birch. Sorry, Birch. Deborah said, beautiful. Thank you. Is that the purple? Oh, yeah. Wondering are these colors are pretty fantastic together. Um, this size, I think, is 11, maybe 12. I'll have to check. Remind me. Hi, Mom. Air hugs for Mom. Wait, air hugs for Mom. Judy comes in, everybody hits the thumbs up button. You don't want to get in trouble. Hi, Dee. Did you sand the Lazy Susan first? I did. I hit you it did. with some 400. Just lightly, just enough to give tooth. The colors are rose pink by Just Resin. This white by Stone Coat, it's the base coat. Gold paste by Artisu and Royal Purple Powder also by Artisu. Hi, Jane D. Oh, it's 15 inches? I was way off. Leslie, send me um, an email with a photo of what you did end up with, and we will figure out what is going on. You gotta use some heat, too. Nobody puts D in the corner. That gold is so subtle now. Mm hmm. And it, and it wanted to take over. Yeah. Hi, Melba. Good idea, Wondering. I have some stone coat. Nope. Chromery right here. Y'all can't tell. Let me change the scene just for a second.
We've had this for like four months. And it looks like this. A little bit on the yellow side. That's chromarine. Okay. Take you back to the action. Trace of color, yes, it is on back order. What's up, Greg? Um, I should have all of everything in from Artisu by the end of the month, hopefully. I like it. Angie said Jeff is in the zone. Susan might be lazy, but she looks good. This is true, and that's my mom. She does look good. Um, Kathy, that resin's probably four months old, the primary, maybe five. Yeah. Could be five. That's awesome for you to do, Sherry. Mom said it looks a lot like the counter doc you did for me, except for different accent colors. It yeah, does. it does. It's crazy because there's this purple in here, and it it's uh, it's underneath. It's it's kind of it's kind of amazing how it's very subtle, but it it gives it a good contrast. I like it, and it's funny because the tan and it's so bright. I guess it looks different on that one. Mm -hmm. How much are you selling Susan for? Uh, this will be two twenty-five. Two twenty-five for this Susan, not my mom. Mom's more expensive. Um, can I get the gold from you? If so, how much? I think they're fifteen dollars on the website. I have a link down in the description box of the artist who paints. Hi Becky, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, you can use resin that's gone yellow. Just, I wouldn't make it white and I wouldn't, um, something. I wouldn't let it stay clear if it's on a white background. Also, hi Allie, thank you. Love that. It's beautiful like marble. Now, is that food grade resin? It is FDA approved for light contact food. That means if you drop something on it, it can stay on it for a minute and you can eat it and you won't die. This is the thing though. You have to make sure when you do this, if you want to put food on it, like if you want to serve it like for cheese or something, you have to let this dry um, or let it dry till it's nice and... Uh, almost tacky like to if you put your finger on it, it kind of comes up a little bit um, if it does that heat it up it'll go back down um, and then pour a complete just flood coat over it so that it's just resin because there's gold floats up and and these powders and paste sometimes will float up that's true when you put paint into resin it changes the chemical makeup of the resin and for it to be truly pure FDA you need to have it be just that so do a clear coat over it you can lick it and not die mm -hmm. because when they test whether it's food grade or not they're testing just the resin not the resin with different kinds of paints in it and not all paints are food grade I have it in stock I have the gold in stock what is the best what Doing my butterfly pour this weekend. Whoop whoop. What is Jeff picking off with the tweezers? Probably Cujo hair. Um, Ticey, yes. Stone Co is one of the highest food grade resins that I've used personally. I haven't tried them all out, so I can't say that it is the most of the most food grade. But I can help you research it. What is the best gold you have used? Um, I, I really love the Artisu Gold. There's Artisu Gold is always the go-to. Mayron is always Mayron's nice, too. Mayron's our second. Damn, that's going to be on that, isn't it? Will you lift that up? I want to get an overview of that. That's awesome, Kelly Green. Looks this. Okay. You got it. Um, I need to change. It's 
very dark. You do not have to wait for it to cure before you flood coat it. It can be slightly tacky. That tan color, y'all, is the color of the Lazy Susan. That's what I wanted to show through. It reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. I have tried System 3 White, and it does do really well. Hi, Robin. Glad you made it. Hi, Dawn. slightly slower. Um, Diane, I would, they're really similar. And I suppose if, we'll probably top coat this with their countertop resin. We use the art resin to do the art part. I'll probably top coat it with their countertop resin. How do the various resin tests on the clear vinyl plastic go? Um, we are not done with them. We have them setting up. Hi, Tammy. Wish we had a Dollarama. You have to do one like the pink and gold bathroom you did, right? That pink was nice. That pink was super nice. I think we actually made that pink up just for her bathroom. We did. That was a custom pink. Suncock countertop resin is the food safe one, not the art resin. Um, the art resin also has a food grade rating in it. It's just, I believe that the countertop resin has a higher food grade. That is my initial beliefs. Let me check that for sure to be for sure because I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing. It is wood. Have you ever tried Art Co. from Germany? I have not. That is the Artist of Gold Paste. That's awesome, Carol Ann. Looks great. Are you pouring tonight? You take two pieces of tape off that, please. Yeah. Am I pouring tonight? I don't know. What time is it? it what is time is the movie? Eight. We're going to go see. What are we going to go see? Two. 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 All the sticky stuff is not any good anymore. Cute. I'm a horrible taper. Um, I don't know what time the movie starts. Um, Rachel, be careful with alcohol ink. Putting it in resin is not a guarantee that it's going to make it because most alcohol inks are not color fast and it will fade or completely disappear over time. Uh, yes, Lisa, I have stayed on Pinterest so long that my eyelids, like, they didn't work anymore. Let me find out what time that movie is. And make some more dark faders and some more of these. You guys, wait till I show you these Star Wars molds that we got. I poured some today. I poured some with the fast setting. You don't even know. You don't even want to know how amazing that is. Um, I mean, you do, but you don't. It's set up in like 30 minutes. I, mean, I took a video of it so we can make some time lapse stuff. Is today Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Y'all, moving forward, we're giving Tuesdays to Stone Coat so that they can go live because this is a really good time for both of us to go live in different time zones. So moving forward, heads up, we will be um, joining in on Stone Coat's live feeds on Tuesday to just show our support for them. And we will probably start next week on Tuesdays having a pre-recorded video just a heads up. 
every other night's going to be regular live feed. Or maybe we'll go live earlier in the day. Who knows, but we will not be overlapping like that. So I think the only real evening live feed they're going to do is 8 o'clock. So what are you going to miss? What is Ligma? I don't know what's happening. Hi, Waleed. I'm so confused. I try. I'm trying to get him. What? We had a troll. Oh. Primetime Wars. I want to buy a Star Wars resin thingy. Hold on. I'll show you guys the ones I did today. That I swear to you, they set up in thirty minutes with this. Uh, Uh, what's Stone Coat's fast setting? Um, I got the Star Wars mold on What's that place? Amazon. So <laughs> What's that crazy little place? Let me I'll link it into our affiliate link so you can find it in our Amazon store just just there. I'll show you guys the molds that I, um, the ones that I did today. And it's uh, also because it's, it's when Han Solo gets frozen. Oh my gosh, I made a, um, a couple of them. This stuff okay. is only going to be half. <laughs> Point five Vader. I forgot I had some clear left. You're not even in the shot. I'm not in the shot? No. You're right here. Whoa. Weird. That's gonna look fun. Um, I have added the Star Wars silicone packs in the Amazon affiliate link that we have down in the description box. Do you know if you'll pour with art resin and... Oh my goodness, this is another troll. We've been infested! Um, Waleed, I haven't checked the email today. I wasn't feeling it and um i will check those all tomorrow i got the molds it. from amazon i have them linked now in the description box thank you for blocking the troll um wally i will answer your email and this is such a great deal for these um molds how many do we get one two three four all the different color five six seven it one, was two, seven three, molds four, for like 15 five, bucks six, for all the different dudes. You don't get C3PO, you get an R2D2. I'll show you the ones that I made. What is a rectangular mold? That's the dude that got frozen in the thing. I know that's really descriptive. Hand Solo. Hand Solo. Um, to answer your questions, I'm not going tonight because Tuesdays are going to be date night for me and me because it's $5 movies at Alamo Draft, House. Alamo Draft House just up the road. Will you pick up those other ones after you drop those so that they can see the other ones? Yeah. Well, I'll just give them. That's away. awesome ideas. Thank you, Clara. I did not know. So, they look like this. 
Really? What does that even mean? Some fighters. Boba Fett. Now, I'll show you. Let me show you the one. Clara, you beat me to it. Who has that kind of time? I don't understand. I do know Han Solo, but I forgot. Diane, repeat your question. These trolls are out of control tonight, y'all. It's a fake disease in Fortnite which killed the ninja. That's what that kid's talking about? That's the thing? I think it's a full mood. Oh. Hi, Kylie. We went live 35 minutes ago, maybe a little bit longer ago. We almost always go live at 8 p.m. Central. Diane, you got the Boba Fett. I will put it in your um, package. I, have, I haven't even made one yet. But look at this. I only did black Hi, Ocean. and... Uh, True, David. No, Ellen, the microphone is just behind the table on the mic. How do you deal with dust while purring? My new studio is great, but dust is killing me. I can't figure it out fast enough. Um, make sure you don't have any air flowing around and create yourself a dust-free zone. We have these great bun pan racks that Laura sent us, recommended by Judy, who is all-knowing on all things resin. Basically, it's a bun pan rack, and we just put our paintings in it, and it's got um, a plastic shell around it that keeps everything out. Look how awesome. I made a white one, too. I must have those. Must have those are badass. You know what I'm going to do with these? Check this out. I just came up with this great idea. Thank you so much, Lynn. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I put magnets on the back of this one. This is big. Uh, I get it, Kaylee. The frozen and tan one. Mm -hmm. They make them the small ones, and I I put silver and spray paint on it and kind of rubbed it off so it looks like the actual little one. But what I want to do with these is just do them all white and make dominoes out of them. Make like one set, one time only, maybe two sets. Who knows? So maybe we can make some one-time domino sets if somebody wants one. I think they're perfect size for dominoes. So, uh, is it possible to make necklace out of those star? You could take a little drumroll and like buzz right. Ooh, no, I dropped him. Put a little, or just do like an eyelet in the top of it. Yeah. Does it look work. like? Do people see it that way? It looks fine. Um, no, it looks like crap. It looks like it's like, like, that looks terrible. <laughs> I, so, hope, I hope you guys don't see what we see on our monitor. I hope the screen is clear. Um, Diane, you can flood coat with another brand of resin. As always, make sure you lightly sand between different layers of resin with 220, 400. I love that. Jeff, make a gold Millennium Falcon and put it on a rope chain. Oh, I'm. We're gonna do it, and then you're gonna. You're gonna. What do you call it? That's you know? funny, Rachel. Please do. I love Star Wars and Domino's. Looks clear here. Looks clear. I can see it. We'll clear. make a gold. You want to make a gold one right now? We'll make two gold ones in a do you gold have C3PO. A... No, we just need some. Why don't you just spray paint one? Like that because one. it messes up the detail. Oh. These are very minute details. Um, David, we actually took a tarp and wrapped it around one of our tables to make it a dust-free zone. So yeah, you can do that anything. Crystal Dawn, I'm so glad your chemo went well today. Well, we were thinking that we would just put these little guys in our mystery boxes, but Sounds like we need to just put them on the, the website in case people don't want to go for the full mystery box. 
How much for a gold falcon? I want one. <laughs> Why don't we just make them? Let's Green, just make red, a couple. And gold. I can make two right now. <laughs> oh, you know what we could do? Let's see. How much is in here? Sure, Diane. Let's just mix it. Y'all, this stuff sets up. We're gonna so we're fast. gonna try to set it up pretty fast. I haven't done that much. Like, I've seen most of, I think, the Star Wars movies, but I don't know. She All went to at least two or three of them with me that I took her to. Oh, I took them. I know the um, Timmy is not included. Go to send me an email. Y'all are going to miss your movie. It starts at 9.30. We can walk there. And it's like a block away. Good point ideas, but we'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll see how it goes. We may just name it something else. What? Uh, he's worried about trademark violations for Star Wars things. It's art. Night, Greg. Yeah, send me a text to you. They're just little, they're one of a kind art things. And if, and if George Lucas sends me a cease and desist, I, I think that means... You made it. We'll stop, for one. <laughs> and two, somebody is complaining. I got busted by federal marshals for printing coat garments. What? What resin is he using? He's using the quick coat by Stone Coat. This stuff has like a 10 minute working time and sets up in less than an hour. You can sand it in two hours. You guys will be able to tell. Like you'll be able to see. Um, it does heat up very, very hot. I thought for sure it would melt these little molds, but it didn't. Uh, Lucas sold out to Disney. Oh yeah, when Disney comes a calling. We'll stop. But these are one of a kind. It's like we're making these That's individually. That's crazy, Lisa. Simply Shabby said, dude, never thought of cutting the bottle down when you're using the last of the resin. Great idea. Well, that way it doesn't have to go this far to pour it out. Yeah. It just is there. And then you want to pour the thinner into the thicker so that you don't waste it. We've done Star Wars coasters before, and we had two, we made two sets, and they were Kiss. <laughs> and we made them. Um, it was my artwork. Yeah, he drew it out, and it was altered. Is somebody really complaining? Agreed, Shelly. No, they're just warning us to not get in trouble. They're just helping. They're helping Helpertons. I know. I don't know why they could get away with making the molds because they're clearly labeled as Star Wars molds. Well, they probably sell them. <laughs> it's probably Star Wars. Caroline says Disney went after a woman that made things out of Disney fabric that she bought. That's going deep. Sorry. Um, can you make some more in and around here so they can see what we're doing? <clears throat> Ah, molds are private use, not meant to be sold. Are you selling them? I call dibs. Kelly Green, send me an email. Absolutely. I knew y'all would buzz me for that. I knew it. Knew it. No. <sighs> Moo has worked his way up the hallway. Hi, Michelle. I checked on your mystery box today, and it... It still says in transit, so I'll call them and figure it out. Yes, I was talking about you, Moose. Robin, just do it. You're not supposed to get online, so just do a Game of Thrones poster and sell it to them. It's not like you're mass production. 
because of y'all, I just did a pour and did some butterfly molds. I bet it's beautiful. I do not want to stick that in there. Your button is right underneath you. I couldn't find my button. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, these molds are made for chocolate slash ice, but we no, are making I'm going to make some things. for Willie's Christmas party. Yeah. i got to get some more if you can. I don't think you want to put... Ah, in you can give away trademark stuff you just can't sell it so basically we can get a donation for that amount and then gift it but what does one do with these molds well we're making these out of them but technically I think they're sold for ice or chocolate yes Yummy gold. Yeah, no, I want it going. The only thing is, these, I aren't, five five. these aren't going to be like shiny. Hi, That's Jonathan. The one thing. We're making molds of Star Wars things. Bye, Sandy. Unfortunately, Tysi, these do not come out clear if let me tell you how to tell if it's going to come out clear or cloudy um the gold is you guys i can make one of these with them artisu gold paste so if your you can't probably see in here but if your mold is not super shiny smooth it will not come out super shiny so these are matte basically they're all matte uh, so they will all come out not so there's some shiny. gold C3PO's or R2D2's. For instance, this one I did yesterday. Where are you? See how it's flat? There. Flat. On the sides. Focus, focus, focus. Anyways, they're flat on the sides and shiny on the edge that didn't have anything stuck to it. Thanks, Laura. But yeah, you can do a quick top coat and make it shiny again. And I put these, I put the little ones, the little C3PO in in the refrigerator, in the freezer, after it was, it, it heats up and it starts to, <laughs> it starts to uh, steam up. So just be careful. Yeah, you can get a resin spray or use a clear spray paint probably and make them shiny again. I, I wouldn't put spray paint over it. Why not? Because it, uh, I think it'll make it look bad. We will test it for y'all. You know how we do. Yeah. Maybe some poly clear. Who knows? Where did you get the 3D skull one? Also Amazon. Please hold and I will look it up for you. I threw all those away because they were like trash. Yeah, I don't Just a little too much in there. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, 
Poppy, look, this one has a DJ skull. I didn't see him. Look how fun he is. I'm gonna add that to the list too. When these things start smoking, that's when it starts a setting up. Yes, it's true. Okay. Now I got all the scullies on the the thing. Do what, Judy? Does it hurt the resin if you use the relief spray first? It doesn't hurt the resin. That stuff's usually made to work with resin, um, but it doesn't, it's not really necessary in these kind of molds. Ooh, I can smell it. Hi, Claudia. We did a pour on a Lazy Susan, and now Jeff is using some quick setting resin to make molds. We'll, uh, and I cut the bottoms out of these. Night, Marcy. Well, I should say the tops so that you can get a little bit more out than what you would probably get if you just tried to dump it out. Um, okay. night, Allie. Look, can they see that? I can't see it. Come on, let me. Look at it over here. Here, I'll move this. The name of the heat gun. Oh, it's oh, it's really smoking it now. It's an HG one six eight eight or something like that. I will check for for sure. Wally, I will absolutely help you with that. I do have a link posted to the heat gun down in the description box. Night, Tony. Look at that. That is crazy. I can't really tell. Can you guys see that heat? Like the heat, the smoke? I can see it getting dark on the edges. Yeah. It's smoking because it is a super quick setting resin. And as you guys know, when resin starts to set up fast, it may start smoking. And so it is. Okay, if you keep that angle, they can see it smoke. Hi, Melissa. All right, please hold. I'm about to show you guys. Oh, why didn't you use it's that? Enough. Oh, yeah, they can see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, yeah, it's pretty warm. It's warm to the touch, too. Like, it's you definitely don't want to touch it. Um, and look, it's like. It's coming away from this part, from this edge. It did that on the white one, too. That is this quick coat by Stone Coat. It has a working time of like 10 or 15 minutes. What is the name of that heat gun? HG6618. The heat gun is HG6618. And... I have a link for it down in the description box. Um, I would definitely not breathe this smoke. You don't want any of that up in your face. Um, the heat is it doing on its own. This is just air. 
He's just gonna blow some cooler air on it. Earlier we put it in the fridge. Nope, yeah. freezer. We put it in the freezer. And it set up really, really quick. It won't catch on fire. Yeah. I thought for sure it would melt this, but I think it just see this is just straight up just air. You can that's the good thing about this. Is this turns and you can turn it all the way to the left and it's nothing but uh, air, just straight up air. Um, you can use any type of silicone mold. Um, I don't think casting resin shrinks like that. This resin is basically meant for sealing up um, areas in like a live edge wood table or something like that that has uneven areas or cracks or crevices. Bye, Leslie. All right, B. What's what's up? Because it's nine o'clock and I gotta take you out and the movie starts at nine thirty. Okay. Well, it's only gonna take us like seven minutes to walk over there. I'm gonna peel this out of here. I'm going to go ahead and take him for a walk. Mm. BRB, y'all. See you, Leslie. My tummy is verbally upset. Let's see what you guys are saying. So, um, in order for us to run this program, this is how awesome, for us to have these multiple angles and, and give you guys the good shots and make it look amazing, um, you, you can, but it's hard to read the, uh, the comments, so we, we got to monitor so that the, the comments and the questions are all real big so I can read them. <laughs> And then we have the laptop with the scenes. If you guys can see that yet, hold on. I don't think it's going to show it. But there you go. We got a laptop monitor. Yeah, LaCrunch, I, 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 uh, I know that. You don't want to put no chocolate in there. You don't want to put no, <laughs> no water in there. Ow, ow, ow. Tammy, I'll ask, um, I'll ask Erica when she comes out back about that. I can actually probably go to that right now. Let's see here. Let me switch this up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, I learned the other day that I need some pigments. I'm going to leave these, this camera on here so you guys can see that you can pull these out. Um, Clara, I, I can see, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we got overview. I'm sure maybe on the little... Ooh, they are still hot. Let's see.
I don't know if I want to try it with the with that with the leg cuz the the first one I did, I tried to take it out too soon and the leg broke. Um, I don't know about this guy. Ooh, that is, it's, it's hot. But it seems pretty firm. Ow, yeah. You don't want to take it out too soon. It's definitely, there, we'll just try to take one of these out. set for 15 minutes or so need to clean my hands off Ooh, got a scratch on my finger does not feel good with alcohol on it but at least I know it's clean. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, front view looks. Let me know what you guys think about this view. We got Lucy over. No. Main roll. There we go. Um, now see, I can face forward and talk to you guys, <laughs> not have to be looking over to the side. Um, Claire, we're going to go see, uh, is it called, may I help you? Sorry. Oh no. Sorry to bother you. I think it's got uh, Danny Glover in it. It's supposed to be a pretty silly movie. I'm not sure though. I just need to wash my hands. And when she gets back, I'll try to take this uh, Millennium Falcon out of here. Or maybe one of those. Jeff, would you let me know what's the cloth that you're using the alcohol? Disregard. And if you discard every time. Yeah, Flora, we do. I mean, it, it's you can't wipe resin all over it and, and wash it. Like, maybe if you had a huge thing of alcohol and dipped it in there and... I just don't think that would work, but yeah, they, I mean, once it's dry, it's, you know, the rag is ruined. And we get these from Home Depot. Um, and I believe they're down in the description, down in the drop box down there, um, below the video in our Amazon. But there's a lot. <laughs> It says 55 pack, but I highly doubt, like I'll show you what size they are. They're a nice little rag. It's perfect. You just fold them in half and soak it in. There's got to be way more than 55 in here. There's no way. Now I want to count it. There's no way. Oh, maybe because they're folded in half. So maybe. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I think... I want to say twelve dollars, and between twelve to fifteen dollars, something like that. <laughs> Flora, <laughs> you know what's funny is I actually watched this video. I didn't watch the entire thing because it's like seven hours long. Do I want to say seven? 
It's this guy named Mr. Beast, and he counted to 100,000 on a live stream. I don't know. The guy's crazy. Show us your new Friday 13 tattoo. Um, unfortunately, I heal really bad when it comes to tattoo, and I actually think the guy was like just digging in my digging in my my wrist, but I heal every time I heal. It looks like um, somebody had cut me with a knife, but once it's healed, it's fine. It just takes forever for me to heal. And this is the shirt I got. Oliver actually gave me this shirt. He's a friend of mine, Oliver Pick. Yeah, I dropped his name. I did it. Sorry. <laughs> I've known the guy for probably over 20, 22, 23 years. <clears throat> uh, Robin, I have, now I have 12 13s on my body. Um, it's for Friday the 13th. Flora, she is walking Cujo right now, and we're about ready to go see a movie. Let's see what these, uh, let's see, overhead, quad cam, solo pour. All right, check this out, y'all. Let's take one of these out of here. We're gonna try to take this, one kind of cracked. Let's see here, let's get you a little closer. All right, these are still hot, and yes, yeah, I should have waited. There's a piece, we'll have to make you, whoever wanted this one, a piece is already broken off. Hold on. Ow, and it's hot. Yeah, you gotta let it dry. Or just let it not be hot. These legs are a little delicate. There's one, there's a little R2D2. Pretty cool. And you have a whole army of them. <laughs> I wonder, you could probably just pour um, some clear, maybe? Some of this, some of this fast setting stuff. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. It looks awesome. There's gorgeous tattoos. Tattoos don't really hurt. It depends what part of the body you get them. This 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 didn't feel good. My thumbs really it was uh it was probably the most painful of my thumbs. Um and then when you get closer to your it's called the ditch, right here and to your elbow, obviously the in the in the soft part of the skin but I mean what are you gonna do you know it's gonna hurt you gotta sit through it and take it just think a week from then you're not gonna be griping about it you're gonna be loving your tattoo um, we just we're just gonna paint these and make fun stuff out of them probably give them away um, in uh, the what do you call it boxes The mystery boxes and I thought about making some a piece of art putting some stones on them uh, maybe making a necklace or these uh, check these out if you guys just got in here uh, when they when they froze up on solo it comes with a big one and it comes with like six small ones and I already put some 
spray paint on one, but I thought about making dominoes, like a domino art set out of these. Thought that would be kind of fun. And just use them as magnets for your refrigerator. Oh yeah, we'll definitely make some uh, make some fun stuff. Um, what I'd like to do for the future, um, if we are able to give a couple seats away for a class, um, for the pay it forward thing, um, for somebody that buys a mystery box or somebody could purchase one for somebody is, uh, we'll make a special one, like the stir stick idea. But I think these would be kind of a little better idea. Make it something that you can keep, something nice, and if you get it in your box and you get a, a seat at one of our classes. Front view, please. I think it would be too. I think I, I kind of know how to play dominoes, but <laughs> my brothers, my brothers play. What I miss? Uh, nothing. What We're getting ready to go, though. Part of it broke on this big one, How but you weird. can't tell. Where am I? How weird! It's like not it's even still bending. Hot. This Sorry, y'all. That's my phone going off. Um. Maybe you can spray paint this. Who knows? But it would be badass to stone that. Bye, Ocean. Like, Have a great day, mm -hmm. night, Jeff. Thanks for tonight. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We love seeing every one of you guys, and. Sorry, and I appreciate all the support from you guys. Really couldn't do any of this without you. But tomorrow we're going to, I think I'm gonna finish up these guys tomorrow. My, um, my diptych geode tomorrow and um hi justine i think there's a piece of tape on that how long do you need it i'm just gonna put it up here but it's light there's not a camera on it <laughs> right laura so thank you guys so, so much for tuning in don't forget that you can check out our website if you want any information on mystery boxes, the classes, the star sticks, the artist who paints, and things like that. If you're interested in the stone coat resin, I have a link for that down below. Use the code ATD in all caps for um, a discount and for just resin. Same code for a discount. Nope, not a discount. For one free mystery paste per hundred that you spend, and two free mystery paste if you spend $200. Um, that's our email address if you have any questions. I'm going to get used to this eventually, I swear I am. Um, join our APDs for people. Wait. B, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Join our ATDs for people. Dun, dun, dun. If you want to be in our group and know about all of the giveaways, contests, sweepstakes, and if we change the time that we're going to go live, we post it all there. Teespring for merchandise. Snail mail is 1409 South of Street, Dallas, Texas, 75215. I have all of that listed down in the description box. Oh, I know this direction. Um, and until tomorrow, we love you all. Stay bananas. Be kind to one another. And bye. I said bye.